Six billion people inhabit our planet. Soon, it will be eight billion. Life in the 21st century requires enormous amounts of energy, specifically electrical energy. A commodity as precious as water it is the very foundation upon which our quality of life is built. Without it, living day to day can be difficult. One third of our planet, two billion people, have little or no access to electricity at all. In their quest for an improved way of life, these populations are migrating to urban centers, creating megacities whose infrastructures are already stressed. The projections are sobering. Increasing population growth over the coming decades will further strain our electric resources. And the widening gap between developed and developing countries will add pressure as emerging nations seek to access electricity any way they can in order to raise their living standards. A high-end lifestyle has a significant environmental cost. 80% of our electrical production causes some kind of pollution or toxic waste. The fossil fuels of oil, coal and gas, which provide so much of our electrical power, will deplete over the next century and are already becoming more and more expensive as dwindling supplies meet increasing demands. The continued use of polluting fuels as our primary energy supply is causing a global climate change with disastrous effects transcending political borders. It will be a high price to pay for all of us. Many are asking, is this our fate? Or is there another option? Let us first ask a bigger question. How do we provide a decent standard of living for everyone on the planet in an environmentally sustainable way? This is the question the 20th century engineer and inventor, Dr. R. Buckminster Fuller, asked over 30 years ago as he developed the World Game Simulation. The solution that emerged from this investigation is elegant in its simplicity and provoking in its complexity. The strategy? The highest priority is to interconnect the electric power networks between regions and nations with an emphasis on tapping local and remote renewable energy resources. We believe he was right, but urgency is now called for. Presently, power grids link half the nations of the world. These are literally the freeway for electrons and enable our high quality of life. Technological advancements of this century have extended the reach of these grids to thousands of kilometers, far beyond the political boundaries of nations and the thinking of most world leaders. Sharing electricity through power grids allows utilities in neighboring nations to link east to west, leveling time zone peaks and valleys. Seasonal variations in north-south demand also make high voltage interconnections beneficial to both the buyer and the seller. And while our current fossil fuel supplies will ultimately diminish, clean renewable resources of wind, solar, hydro, geothermal, tidal, and biomass are abundant and will never run out. Yet, we are only using a small fraction of the available renewable energy on our planet. They are abundant beyond our needs, if we choose. It has begun in small measure. Some nations are already utilizing their renewable resources. Scandinavia and South America tap hydropower. Germany and India are developing wind. The United States uses biomass energy. Geothermal is expanding around the Pacific Rim. Given a choice, why would a country continue down the path of pollution when the road to renewable is so clear? Consider the effects of linking our renewable energy resources around the world. It will elevate the living standard of those without access to power. 
It will reduce pollution from fossil and nuclear production. It will stabilize population growth and reduce world hunger. And it will enhance trade, cooperation and peace between nations. No new technology needs to be invented. This is doable today. Our planet's growth is assured. The outcome is not. Many leaders support this strategy on a global scale. We invite you to become involved in this global initiative. GENI, Global Energy Network Institute, is a non-profit research and education initiative promoting the integration of power grids between nations and continents with an emphasis on tapping local and remote renewable energy resources.